Is Monarch a good online homeschooling program for your family? Let's find out together. Okay, so before we take a look at how the Monarch website looks, let's just go over the basics. Monarch is a complete online homeschooling program created by Alpha Omega Publications for kids in grades 3 through 12th grade. This is the same company that created the Print Curriculum Life Pack and also Horizons, which is something that we have used in the past for both math and phonics, and we really liked it. Monarch is a Christian homeschool program that covers math, science, language arts, history, geography, and Bible study, plus optional electives. Everything is done completely online, it's fully customizable, and it includes automatic grading and record keeping. Like many other online homeschooling programs, because this isn't actually a school, it's not accredited. This is really an online curriculum, which is very different than an online school. The company does also own Ignite Christian Academy, which is a complete online learning academy, if that's something that you're interested in instead. After your 30-day free trial with Monarch, if you decide to keep it, you'll pay $39.95 a month with the option to cancel at any time for the five core subjects. Or you can save by purchasing a full year for $399.95. They also offer over 115 elective courses. Access to those will cost you an additional $9.95 a month or $99.95 a year. Once you sign up for the free trial and pick your grade level, you will be brought to this screen where you can set the dates and days of the week for your school year. Don't worry, you can change this later. You can customize the grade levels after as well so you don't have to be stuck with the same grade level for all the subjects. I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. Then you will come to this main dashboard. They have the option to pick a theme here if you want. So this is the parent dashboard. From here, you can view your child's assigned work. If you click on a course, you can reschedule the course over here. You can click the plus sign to see all of the assigned lessons for each course. If you want to unassign a lesson or block it entirely, you can do that here. The lessons shown in yellow are the ones that are not assigned by default. If you wish to assign one, you can click on it and then choose Assign. The lessons in gray are the ones that your child has completed. If you click on a completed assignment, you can view your child's work and grades, as well as clear the work if you wish for your child to redo that lesson. If you click on Review Student Work, you can see the entire assignment. If you scroll to the bottom here, you can see how your child did on the questions associated with the assignment. It shows how many attempts your child had for each problem and their score. You can change the score here, clear the attempts and reassign, allow the problem to be skipped, and print the problems. Click Next to review the next problem. The calendar shows the work your child has assigned for each day. If you click on Reschedule All Courses, you can set the days of the week for each specific course as well as the start and end dates. If you want to see the work your child will be doing, just click on the lesson. The grading tasks area is where the parent goes to grade things like essays and typed in answers that Monarch doesn't automatically grade. You will open up the task, review the answer, and then submit the grade for it. You can also view any problems that your child has skipped here as well as the reason they gave for skipping it. Up top here is the course catalog where you can view information for all of the courses including the electives. You can download the PDF of the scope and sequence for a particular course here. Clicking the Home button will bring you back to the Parent Dashboard. Up here we have a Message section and also a Setup button. Under the Setup button, there are three sections, School Setup, Student Setup, and Curriculum Setup. Under School Setup, we have several options. The Assignment section allows you to make changes to the Problem Attempts and Bible version. Over here, you can make changes to the school year name and dates. The quiz and test options can be modified here. You can adjust the grading scale here, and you can turn notifications on or off here. The student setup section also allows you to make similar adjustments. If you click on the student's name, you can make some changes here to activate or deactivate certain features. Then we have the assignment, quiz and test, grade, and notifications options. 
The curriculum setup shows the courses that are currently assigned. You can manage them here. You can remove an entire course or make adjustments to the quiz, test, and grading for each individual course. If you want to adjust the grade level for the different courses, they seem to have that hidden in a weird spot. Click on Manage Billing and then Assign Courses. Here you can pick a grade level for each individual course and adjust the days of the week and the start and end dates. In the Billing section is also where they've hidden the placement tests. If you want your child to take a placement test for a particular course, you can assign it here. Although it wouldn't work for me, so I'm not really sure about that. Back up top, the report section allows you to generate a few different reports for your child based on the parameters you input. There is also a help button up here. Okay, so that takes care of what you can see in the parent dashboard. Now let's log into the separate student account and see how that looks. Here is the student dashboard. The first tab here shows the assignments for today. There is a Messages and Resources section on the right. If they click on the calendar, they can see their assignments like this. The Learn button up top will also take them to their assignments. They can view course progress here and any supplemental opportunities here. There is a Message section here and a Help section here. They can change their theme over here. Okay, so let's take a look at the lessons. To get started, your child can just click on their assignments and then click here to start. You can also go to the calendar and click on the lesson there to start it. You can work ahead. You don't have to just do the lessons for that day. And I noticed that nothing really pops up to tell you that you're done for the day. So you have to keep track if you're going too far ahead. See how the due dates for the assignments here are several days away? So the calendar is the best option to track the assignments in my opinion. Now let me give you a quick demo of some of the lessons so you can see for yourself. Okay, so now let's try a couple of the lessons out so you can see what they look like. We'll start with reading and writing. Okay, so here you see at the top, it explains what the lesson is all about. So this is sources of English words. It has the goals for the lesson. At the top of all the lessons, there's this vocabulary section. And they also have a vocab arcade sort of game. And then here, uh, this one actually has a video, which is surprising because uh, most of them don't seem to have videos. Okay, so then you can read here, how can a language have more than 1 million words? And so this is what the lessons kind of look like. It's a lot of reading. And then there's another little video here. This one is... 25 seconds long. And then there's this borrowed words slideshow here. Some more reading. You can click on this map to hear a story about ship. And then there's a sort of a game here. Send Farmer Frank to the farthest reaches of the galaxy by helping him complete his spaceship. So that. Um, <laughs> kind of like Hangman. Oh, all right. All right, and then once your child has completed this whole lesson, they can work on the questions. So the questions look like this. I might not get all of these right. <laughs> and so you just go through and submit the answers. It tells you right away if it was correct up here. If you wanted to skip something, you could click this and put the reason why, and that's what the parent will see later, that, you know, your child skipped it, like, uh, <laughs> too hard. You can do that. 
And then you can also, the child could also take a note if they want to here. If they click mark lesson is complete, it's going to go and be complete without all these being answered. But it is an option. Some of them will have these kind of like matching. Let's see if I can get this right. Probably not. I really don't know. <laughs> we'll just skip this one. Or you know what? Let's see what happens when you just put random stuff. I'll show you how it looks if you get one wrong. Oh, you submit. And then it, it shows this. And then you could do it again. Oh, it's going to show that again. And so then we're going to just skip it. And so as the parent, you'll see this. You'll see how many times they tried, and then you'll see that they skipped it. Okay, and then after we do this last question and submit answer, now you'll see these are all either skipped or correct. So now you can do mark lesson as complete. This will pop up. and we'll return to our assignment. Okay, so now let's try a math lesson. Okay, so just like before, it's gonna have kind of an overview and objective at the top. It's gonna have some vocabulary and a vocab game if they wanted. And then it's going to Go over the lesson. All right, so there's a little video thing here, then a bunch of reading. And once they've read all that, understand the concept, can work on the questions, just like in language arts. And so there's only five questions here. Oops. There we go. And so, you know, these, they would obviously need a piece of paper to do. I'm just trying to quickly do them in my head. And that's just how it looks. So all of those are right. Mark lesson is complete. and return to assignments. So that's just what a couple of the lessons look like. And then as you can see, if you go back to the calendar, so that one we did is complete, and then I did this uh, math one, so that's complete. So if I were to continue today, I would also have um, this one about oceans and a Bible study. And then for Tuesday, this was already completed, but I'd have this, and then these won't open up until these are completed. So it kind of works like that. So you can work ahead once you have completed a lesson. Now that you've seen the demo, let's talk about what I like about Monarch and what I don't like about it after testing it out. First, the things I like about it. First, I like that they give you a free 30-day trial without asking for your credit card info. That's one of the best free trial offers I've seen, so that's really nice. I like that they do most of the grading for you, but that it includes the option for essays and things like that for the parent to review. I like that it's very simple for the student to follow. I like that your child can complete the lessons at their own pace and go ahead if they like, and that the time commitment for the lessons doesn't seem too bad. I like the automatic grading and reporting that they offer, which can be helpful for families in areas where the homeschool laws are a little more strict. The calendar option is nice, especially if you're like me and like to have that calendar visual to stay organized. Now for what I don't like so much. Unfortunately, I think this list is a little bit longer than what I do like. I don't like that there don't seem to be any video lessons. There is a lot of reading here for a child to be expected to do, especially the younger ones. Normally, these kind of lessons would be taught by someone else, such as the parent. Expecting a child to sit there and read the entire lesson with no read aloud option is a bit much. I feel like 
a child should be taught a lesson by either a parent, a teacher, or some sort of video or something, and then do their work, not have to read the whole lesson themselves. That's just my opinion. I also don't like that there is no way to make this into a secular curriculum. A lot of the Christian homeschooling programs will have the option to just not include the Bible study portion, but this curriculum includes Bible references in all of the different lessons. And that's great if you're looking for something like that, but if you want a curriculum without that, it's just not an option. If you're looking for a full secular curriculum for 3rd through 12th grade, I highly recommend the Study.com homeschool program. And if you use my code TTTSTUDY, you will save 30% off of your first three months of Study.com. I also think the website navigation for Monarch... I also think the website navigation for Monarch... Oh my god. I also think the website navigation for Monarch... I can't say Monarch. Monarch... Monarch, Monarch. Okay. I also think the website navigation for Monarch <laughs> needs a bit of work. I can't say it. I don't know. The old fashioned tree structure for the lessons isn't the best. It kind of reminds me of my very first computer growing up before Windows was even invented. I also notice that sometimes, depending on what area of the site you're in, the menu at the top isn't always available. And you saw how some of the things are kind of hard to find. So that definitely needs some improvement. I hope this video helped you learn everything you need to know about the Monarch Online Homeschooling Program. If you want to learn about another great online homeschooling program, click the video on your screen now. Thanks for watching.